Hello and welcome back to the Chatters Invitational Game. I am Caster Mighty Benaya, and there's some big news that we'll get to here in a moment. But first, let's do our rounds for what is happening in the world in the Chatters game uh, just before the beginning of day 10. Uh, so Japan has lost some additional ground to Russian Yakutia. Um, Japan does not seem to have been making many moves. Uh, Russian Yakutia taking those, it appears, taking those five troops um, from this area and moving them around and taking this Japanese island. Uh, so it, Japan needs to be uh, a little bit more active, it appears. Um, it seems like he is starting to slowly lose ground, lose progress, as Russian Yakutia um, makes his way south and takes out Japan piecemeal. Um, not what I would have expected, um, given the number of cavalry that are present. Um, it would be, it would, seems it would make more sense for um, a more large scale invasion, but perhaps uh, Siberian Tanker is also looking to his, um, his other neighbors for potential conquests. He may even be looking um, towards uh, Russian Alaska across the sea. So we'll see where he goes from here. Uh, moving south, um, there the war is wrapping up. Um, there's a lot of um, just cleanup going on with the pirates. Um, obviously, um, last time we saw that Mindano Command had taken the last provinces. Um, Mongolia has not made any moves. Uh, British Madras is continuing to defend. No real progress either way there. I have gas. Mr. Flatulence um, has not made any, uh, any significant moves. However, he does have a uh, German-Tanzanian scout um, at his border, and so he needs to watch out given that he has some empty provinces. It looks like he's moved a lot of his troops back off of the front line, um, signaling working with Anglo-Egyptian Sudan um, and potential aggression against his southern neighbor, um, King Spankerton. Um, moving over, something that I did miss last time, uh, French Equatorial Africa. If we remember, um, this was... Um, Pendragon Z. Uh, Pendragon Z was um, had his capital taken by an AI early in the game, which set him back significantly. Um, it looks like he has now been eliminated um, by um, Papadop Papadopoulos. Um, also, something to be on the watch out for for any players in the game, Frenchie is expanding drastically. Um, he took out his southern neighbor. Now he's taken out his northern neighbor and going. looks like he's going potentially up to Europe. He has left several AI uh, active down here um, as protectorate states, um, but he is now moving in to attack French Algeria, which is an AI. Um, he is profiting greatly from his position. Um, and it looks like he is slowly taking over West Africa and moving east, though it is very possible that he will move north into Spain, um, which would be very bad news for the European nations. He who went to Malta, Bloody Julie, Julii, uh, Full Metalang, etc. Um, there is a lot of talk in the newspaper about Tom and Jerry. Um, there is an entire... Uh, an entire storyline where uh, Tom has been held captive by Jerry. He was rescued by New Zealanders. Um, maybe at some point I will do a video going over the entire tale once I can wrap my brain around it. But there are multiple people who are posting. Um, it's a great gag. Um, and so it, it would take more time than I have at this time to go through. Um, Richard Nixon has not made any significant moves in the north. Um, we also haven't seen a significant expansion from uh, the McLaren coalition. Um, they seem to be um, working together to increase points without expansion. Uh, the pirates also have not made significant changes. But what has happened now that we are here, what has happened in South America? Um, Lalo Kurd, 
uh, if you will remember last time, he had sent troops to um, Brazil. He was at war with Brazil, and he was sending troops back. Um, so it looked like war had been declared, but there hadn't really been anything that had transpired. Um, and he was sending troops back through um, Fig Newton of Your Imagination's territory, um, which is which is Bolivia. Uh, so he's sending troops back through Bolivia. And apparently what had transpired was um, Brazil had gold marked a couple of forts right where Lalo Kurd was going to attack. And Lalo Kurd needed to attack somewhere. And so he chose to attack the one place that really no one anticipated. He moved south and he stole the capital of Chile. Chile, the aggressor of uh, two different wars at this point. Um, and uh, Lord Wolf, uh, I must say, it is uh, poetic. I, I feel for you. I understand that it is frustrating to have your capital taken by somebody who you have given at the very least right of way. And I believe you had shared map. Um, but it is very much so poetic justice that this transpired after two sneak attacks. Um, and uh, I hope that you can laugh along uh, with the rest of us once once we've cooled down, because I understand that can be extremely frustrating. Um, so Lalakurd has declared war has uh, on Chile and taken the Chilean capital, which is going to put Chile in a bit of a bind with morale. Um, so the morale doesn't look too bad right now. He's at, you know, 60%. But he needs to build a capital um, pretty quickly um, in order to in order to recover. And all of this at the same time that he as is at war with Piratini, who also has not built a capital. Um, so it will be um, interesting to see. Let's see if we can find where he wants to build his capital. I would say he probably wants to build it down here somewhere, but it doesn't look like he is building it currently. There's a factory factory um so no capital going down as far as i can see i would imagine he wouldn't want to put it up here um, as that is susceptible to peruvian attack um perhaps over here no no capital that i can see is going down which is um understandable because there's not really a spot where he would feel like it would be protected. Um, but at the same time, that is going to, the longer he waits, it's going to eat his morale. And prior to the update, that is um, difficult. Um, so this is one of the last games prior to the update. After the update, uh, capital sniping, I think, is going to be um, even more prevalent because morale is going to be so big and so difficult to overcome. Um, the morale updates, um, have have really hampered um, anybody who has that type of negative um, in their province because they they have a, a an additional cost to building um, uh, a, a cost in time to building um, capital buildings etc. Um, so that is where everything is at right now. I'm going to switch back to relations. That is clown map. and come back over here to myself. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, I'm happy to respond to any questions in the comments. Soli Deo Gloria, and I will see you next time.